Hey guys, this is Mike from Mike Stickers, and um, I wanted to show y'all how to do a print bleed. And I apologize if I have some background noise. I got my printer going right now, and as usual, it's pretty loud. So right now, I'm working with this square design. I want to do the cut line exactly where it's at. I want to make it exactly three inches on the design. So I have it set to three inches. I want my cut line to be on the on exactly three inches. I don't want to do it on the inside of this. I want to do it exactly on the outside. So the way I do that on something like a square, um, I just go ahead and drag and drop a box on top of it. And then you come over here to your rolling color palette. You right click. And it'll turn that line, it'll turn it blue. Oops. There it is. Alright, so I have my cut line right there. I want to do hairline. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I want to do hairline. Okay, so that's going to be my cut line. And then I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste a new one. Um, this one's going to be my, my, end up being my print bleed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, um, get my dropper here and sample this color and then I'm gonna click on this one I'm gonna right click it and then I'm gonna change it to I think 0.8 should be good so I'm gonna click on this image I'm gonna hold down shift I'm gonna click on this image I'm gonna press C to center it on the on the other image I'm gonna press E to equal it on the other image and then I'm gonna go ahead and combine uh, group these together I'm gonna to right click and do group then I'm gonna click on my cut line box and make sure it's on top of the page which it is so I'm gonna nope it's going underneath the page so I'm gonna right click here I'm gonna go order I'm going to go to the front of the page. So now it's going to show up on top of the image. I'm going to right click on this, or, sorry, left click on this one. Left click on, or press shift and left click. And then I'm going to go center and equal. And then I'm going to group these together. Now I've got my cut line exactly where I want it a little bit within the image and that should be good enough and if you wanted to make your uh, if you wanted to make it thicker than that you could but I think that's gonna be okay and then from there you just gotta set up your sheet however you normally do that alright so that's a quick and easy way to make a cut line uh, with the print bleed